track, now we gon' weigh up Don't be used as easy as a layup Fucking late, stay up, stay up Count Sure I'm linking up here today with uh, one of Zimbabwean cricketer. He represented Mashonal and Eagles B side a, a while back and went on to join the Matabelele and Tuskers for the first class, least A and T20. Uh, for me, he's one of the best hitters of a cricket ball I have ever met. And he's currently the head coach for University of Zimbabwe. And uh, he played some games for Arari Kings like two years back. Shared a field with uh, Sikanda Raza, and uh, he's here with me today, Simbarashe, aka Jeda Haukozi. How are you doing, man? Good, I'm right, man. How are you? Good to see you. I'm all good. I'm all good. How was, how was the intro? Ah, it feels very warm today. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you look at that uh, resume there. I mean, that's a top resume. A lot of experience in the game. And, uh, you know, as a coach as well, uh, what comes to your mind when you hear all these achievements and accomplishments you have made throughout the years? Yeah, well, a lot comes to my mind. Like uh, how I started playing cricket, how I suffered to where I am right now. I can't say I've achieved a lot, but, uh, you know, the few that I've achieved, you know, some of my friends would really love to achieve that as well, but they couldn't. So a lot comes to my mind, especially about how I started and uh, how I grew up and how I achieved all everything that I have right now. No, that, that's uh that's great to hear because I see there you went on to play for Harare Kings. Uh, with I mean Sikanda is one of the best T Twenty players in the world right now. We're talking international. I mean, what was what was the feeling like for you? Um. You know, first, firstly, when I got a call, I was in Zimbabwe that uh, uh, I'm playing for Harare Kings. That's Old Harare Sports Club. It was uh, it was a shocker for me because I, I never believed that I would uh, share the field with Raza. He's one of the best guys that I've ever been around with. He's got uh, good influence towards cricket. Um, he's always motivating you whenever you're playing with him, telling you the right uh, positive things to uh, to do all the time. So when you do something bad, he tells you straight up, you're not, this is not good, you have to do this next time. So he's a very good guy to, spray, uh, to share the uh, food with, and I would love to share the food with uh, him again. Almost, uh, it will be the best feeling that I can have. Yeah, that's great, man. You mentioned that, you know, you have never dreamt of sharing a field with someone, a player of his caliber. But, I mean, just growing up, having played, you know, semi-pro, almost going to pro now was it like a dream when you were when you were a kid i mean growing up in the locations you know was it a dream for you or have you always seen that coming your way it was a dream um college i think you know exactly um the places that we used to be before when we were growing up you know to be the uh and stuff so Seeing other people making it, like you know, when I was growing up, the creation was uh, Cham Baba because he's, he's a guy from Stungiza. And uh, every time when I used to see him uh, playing in the international uh, uh, cricket games, you know, I would motivate myself all the times that um, I would really love to be like him one day. Though I haven't played for the national team yet, but you know, it's just something that I always felt like if I get this chance, you know. I know how 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 it is to be fit. Yeah, it 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 at one point, you know, I wanted to be a policeman. Like my dad was a policeman, so you know, you know the feeling when you see your dad in the uniform every time coming back home. You know, these police cars and stuff, you know, you, you just feel like, you know, it's something great, you know. But when you intend to grow up, you see the direction changes. And then you say, ah, no, me, let me do this. So, yeah, I wanted to be a policeman. So, you know, at what point in your career did you realize that this is it? This is where you're going with the game? Uh, I think it's when I first joined uh, Matebele and Taskers. Um, 
you know, when I went there, I went to play a uh, spa bonds at T20. That was uh, being organized with the late uh, Mr. Frosty. Yeah. Uh, so I was one of the best guys there because I remember uh, playing against uh, in my team. I was sharing the ground with PJ Mo and Craig Avery and Kevin Casuza. We were playing together in that tournament in the same team. So we were the one we won the, the league. So after that, I uh, was asked to come and join um, uh, a club called Queen Sports Club. So from then, I was then, you know, joining the practice for Tuskers. You know, Chris Mpofu. Chris Mpofu is the best guy that, uh, uh, he's one of the guys that um, they introduced me to Tuskers. And uh, I still thank him, I mean, up to now. Uh, he, he had the hopes with, with me. He had beliefs with me, you know. So when I was um, when I was playing there, when I was practicing there, he was the guy who was just keeping me um, close all the times. And uh, I remember Kenneth uh, Chaneta is the guy who who helped me with accommodation, food, transport, a lot of things. It was it was more like my manager by that time. Uh, his name is Pimbo. So yeah, that yeah, yeah. Happened. But there, when I got there, I felt like you know now I'm a professional cricket. So that's when he started. No, interest, interesting to hear. I, I heard that you mentioned about uh, Chamuchi Baba there. Yeah? I was going to ask, like, who was, like, your biggest inspiration growing up in the game? Exactly. It's him. <laughs> it's Chamuchi <laughs> Baba. He's my inspiration. No, you know, it's, um, you know, those guys, like you mentioned, Christopher Mpofu and Chamu. You know, we see them on big screens and then we think that they are not human beings, but, you know, they're actually like some humble individual, like even Christopher Mpofo, you know, he's a great guy. I've never like really met him in person, but just having conversation over the phone, you know, he's a genuine, honest guy. So, you know, you've been involved in, you are still involved in the Zimbabwe Cricket Board. And um, what are your thoughts on the direction of Zimbabwe cricket? Where is it going? Um, of late, when we well, we didn't qualify for two World Cups, you know, it's disheartening. Dis man, um, we all thought maybe we were going to World Cup and you know, all, 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 all the things, but um, yeah, you know, everyone felt um, low after that. So I can say for now we. I think Zimbabwe Cricket is trying, is trying to rebuild um, um, so that we can be, you know, that force again. There's a lot of things that needs to be done. We need our development uh, back. A lot of things we need to rebuild. But we've got good players around. So I think the only thing that we need to do is just to rebuild and start again. Um, so who do you think is to blame uh, on this downward downward trend of the... <laughs> Of, of the game in Zimbabwe? Is it the players? Is it the admin side of things? I wouldn't say there's anyone to blame. Um, I, I can't point fingers that the players, the admin. I can say everyone around. Um, if 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 we couldn't qualify, it means um, uh, we were not doing our job, our jobs 100%. Somehow, somehow. Um, so I, I can't point fingers that this one or that one, but we've got good players around. We've got a, a good admin board. Um, so there are just one or two things that we, we just need to, to, you know, to, to settle down and rebuild again, like, like I said before. Do you think players are talented enough to compete at the highest level? We're talking international, or there's just not enough or adequate talent in the country? Our, our players are, are, are good enough to play international. I, I think the, the problem is um, we we don't have enough get, uh, game times to our players. Um, um, the players that we have right now, we are rotating the same players sometimes because of, um, um, of game time, because the ones that we have are playing, those are the experienced ones. You know, and um, sometimes our players as well in the franchise uh, league, they don't perform. Sometimes they perform, so it's just up and down sometimes. But I, I feel like, you know, 
uh, the team that we have, it's good, it's very good enough to stand against any any other team. But all we need is more game time, more games, you know, short break, come back again, do the work. That's what we need. Yeah, yeah. No, interesting, interesting. And then you, as a, as an experienced player, you are. Would you say like you're putting enough work ethic in order to, you know, reach that that high level of performing? And um, do you think like was it like to your fellow mates? Uh mm-hmm. I, I I think like you know I've, I've been putting more more work previously even up to now. Um, it's just unfortunate that you know sometimes things doesn't go your way, you know, but I, I would love to yeah. get a chance one of the days, you know, if I'm, I'm being called to play any other French slide again in Zimbabwe, I can go and play. If I'm being called to play a national team, I'm ready to play anytime. Just that, you know, when you are growing up, sometimes, you know, your body it becomes a little bit big and all that, but, you know, you know how to yeah. take care of it. Yeah. And it doesn't, doesn't block you from doing a lot of things. So, you know, you know how to run, uh, how how to field, how yeah. to ball, how to get. It's just one of the things that comes in your mind whenever you step in the field. Yeah. And uh, now, where are you now? You in Zambia? Where are you? Right now, I'm currently in Zambia. I'm um, I'm playing a, a league here in Zambia, and um, I'm working here. Well. Okay. I hope uh, there's some big things happening there. Yeah. Uh, I got a few men. I was uh, last season. Um, I was the yeah. best man of the season. I was um, oh, great. The, the player of the season as well. Yeah. No, that's uh, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Uh, we're just gonna go into a quick Q and A. Okay. And um, you know, so first one is who's the fa- who's the smartest player you shared a changing room with? Samuji Baba. Okay, and who's the messiest? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that one. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I've never met a messiest. <laughs> you know, when... when They've you, never? You, ah. you, you know, in a change room, everyone can toss around, throw things around because, you know, you feel free because you're, you're just from playing the game or something. You know? So I can't really say there's a messiest. So, yeah, so definitely you can mention about Three five. If there's a lot of people doing that, because you see, I think this point it's it's a it's 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 not a matter of tidiness, but oh, what what should I say? Messy is like you can be clean and your things are clean, but just being messy, like you just throw your things all over. I think I think I'm one of them. I'm I'm one of them. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to exp- I just wanted you to expose yourself, you know. Yeah, I do that, man. We start from playing the game and then we just come so this there. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put you on a another thing, a 15 second quiz. Mm-hmm. So basically, how it works is that I will give you a question and then you can give me a number of maybe things you can mention within 15 seconds. Okay. And then, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the one I'm wearing now is no timer. It's just time. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to put a stopwatch here. Uh-huh. Let's see. So, it's only two, it's only two questions. So, the first one, the first one is how many Zimbabwean cricketers can you name in fifteen seconds? Can I start? Now, no, give me a number. How many? How many do you think you can say in fifteen seconds? I think. Uh, and I might. I think I'm to make it more interesting. I'll challenge you on that. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. 15 seconds. Oh. Um, I, I, you know, I can do 18. Maybe me, I can do 20. Yeah, okay, no, I'm going to leave that one to you then. All right, since you've got the highest number, then it's up to you. All right. So, 
20 Zimbabwean cricketers in 15 seconds. We're going to start okay. in three, two, one, go. Roy Kahia, uh, Tanaka Jivanga, uh, Clive Madandi, Brian Bill, Sean Williams, Richard Garaba, Placing Zarabani, Brad Evans, uh, Luke Jongwe, uh, Jordan Grumby, Craig Evans, Brian Bennett, uh, time, 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 time. Okay, I think you got about 12. Oh, yeah. yeah, you got about 12. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. I don't think I was gonna I, I don't think I was gonna do I was gonna do 18. <laughs> I just wanted to push you there a bit. Yeah, yeah but 12 is good. 12 yes. is good. 12 is good. 15 seconds. I was thinking maybe you would go like with the ro whole roster you play with. So you know. Yeah, well, I had to pick the 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 ones that are playing right now mostly <laughs> <laughs> no but that, that was good and then how many fielding positions okay okay, okay. we're gonna roll back a bit you see on that one i'm gonna have someone on the podcast again i'm gonna see who's gonna beat you since you i think you've got the record now 12 players in 15 seconds let's see who's gonna beat that so the second one with how, how many fielding positions can you name in 15 seconds? I will try... Uh, I'll try 12 again. I think um, I'm going to skip the second one. Uh, we'll keep you with the record for the, you know, for the, for the first question with uh, the most names in the team. All right, so we're going to dive into almost our final part. Think you're better. So you have tw you, you need 20 runs to win in the last over. Uh, you need to pick a better. And we have these options. I have Clive Madande, Tony Mnyonga, Ryan Bell, Sifas Joao, Tad Tadiwa Marumani. Who are you picking to bet? 20 runs to win last over. Uh, that's a tough one, Mr. Curry. For all these guys, they can bet. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, definitely. My 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 favorite. I think, and their homeboys. You see, I'd like to hear to to all these guys that I'm going to leave, but I think I'll go for Mayor. I'll go for Silver Show. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. I don't think any answer would be wrong there. I believe any yeah, one of those guys can get the job done. Yes, he, he has won me games playing with him. He has won me games uh, watching him. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then uh, lastly, can you give us your top five gods, the greatest cricketers of all time? Your top five in order, starting maybe okay. starting with number five. Okay, with with number five, uh, I'll go locally. Am I allowed to go locally in Zimbabwe? Yeah, yeah, it's your it's your list, top five international. Even yeah. Um, on number five, I'll go for Brian Cherry, uh, the guy from Tuskers. He's the best guy that I've ever played. Okay. And uh, I I like how he plays. And uh, number four, I'll go for. Zarabani, um, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. Zimbabwe national team bowler. Uh, number three, I'll go for um, for Raza. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Uh, number number two, I'll go for Chris Gale. Number one, I'll go for Collie. All right, that's an interesting one. Interesting one. Uh, but yo, no, it was uh, it was nice. I think uh, I don't have a problem with that list as long as you have Koli on number one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, Simba, it was nice linking up with you, and um, I think we, you know, we should do another one again where we dive. A little bit more deeper into your story. I mean, growing up, how was your childhood? And, you know, a lot more. 
I think you're a father now. So, you know, just get to know you a little bit more. And even the people that are watching, for them to also get to know you a little bit more. But again, thanks for your time. Sorry, man. Thanks very much for your time as well. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, that was Simba Jeda Aukozi. Uh, who joined us today. We linked up with him. We get we got to know him, asked him a few questions. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, also follow Simba Aukozi on his socials, which I'll put in the bio. And I also take some of his link as well on my videos on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, follow his journey. Incredible guy. Very good cricketer and um, a very good coach as well. All right. Cheers.